this is your main guy cbk back with a video and yes i'm telling you the terminator has awoken in the matrix this is something which i believe we must as investors and influencers so when i say investors you guys right i'm talking about the masses the 99 percent all you guys which are just looking just to invest in decent projects right you guys are the investors you who's watching my channel right now more than likely the majority of you are investors some of you might be little sneaky people who you know whatever right you could be people creating scams or have plans to create scams i'm just talking about the, the majority here right this is what i want to say to you now we've got legit companies out there right for instance no one can argue that Bitcoin is legit. It's been around. It hasn't rugged nobody, right? Um, Ethereum is. Um, Chainlink. There's millions of coins out there, guys, which you don't have to worry. Yes, you know, you might buy in today and, and you might lose some value tomorrow. And then if you hold it and you're a hodler, you will kind of see that it goes up and down anyway. That's just how the market works. But these new projects, these new ideas that come out right not all not all but most yeah they are all scams now i'm gonna say this right you've got ohm yeah olympus down yes the price has tanked but if you believe that these people didn't just put some thought into what they're creating just to kind of rug people that i mean do you think owns a rug i don't think so i just think that the actual tokenomics and the fact that you know right now the rebase is kind of dwindling and they had to pull in the percentages to keep the longevity of the of the actual project going and that gives them time to think about more ways in which they can bring more value in but the fact that they created the idea the doubt or they introduced the DAO because the DAO has been around way before um, Olympus DAO, right? But they introduced the DAO into what we're doing now. It took some thought into that. So they're the originators. But all these other copycats, I'm just saying, things do happen. And then you look at all the nodes. And yes, I'm talking about Ring Node yet again. And I'm simply saying this. All those influencers, every single influencer, yeah, that is out there and they're um, doing an AMA or an interview with the actual developers. Let me say this. If you're doing an AMA or an interview, it's your responsibility. It is your responsibility to make sure that you have every single person that's connected to that project. You have their um information right so i'm talking about you need to know their k you need to do a kyc on them why and i'll tell you why because you're presenting something to the public to the world not just your state not just your town not just your neighbor this is going out to the whole world anything that you put in the public domain is for the public around the world especially on the internet it's a worldwide thing so this is what i'm saying right each and every single one of you will have to answer questions soon. And I know this because I know that this is something that's going to get publicized in the next few weeks. And this is going to be international. Right? YouTubers specifically, as well as um, those influencers on Twitter, Instagram, all those major platforms. What's going to happen is this, right? What's going to happen is that you guys including me is going to be held responsible right now in order to keep regulations away from cryptocurrency which is meant to be decentralized you guys better play along with it the way in which these scams get circulated is because you have people who have AMAs don't have all their all the information to make sure that these people that they're actually um, going to be promoting to the community, promoting to the world, they don't have all the information to just in case they need to do some follow up information. Yeah, they have nothing. Now, if you're 
you are responsible as an influencer. If you are presenting information, only pre- and 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 it's by way of AMA. Look, if you're if you haven't done an AMA and you haven't interviewed the guys, then all you're doing is sharing stuff that that you found or sharing stuff that you know just you know someone shared with you. I mean, realistically, it's not much you can do about that. You know, the internet is there for information, right? So people are just sharing information. But if you're doing a specific AMA or you're doing a specific interview, whatever you want to call it, if they are coming on your channel and they don't want to show their face and you know what, fair enough, we can argue, some people don't like being in front of the camera. We don't want to sort of isolate people that don't want to be in front of a camera, right? But what we need to do is hold those who interview or do an AMA with these people, we need to hold them accountable. Why? Because they should have done their due diligence and done a KYC to make sure and make sure that they have they are doxxed with an external company. So as well as you having KYC, right, making sure that you have gone through and you can see that they are doxxed. This is a lesson for me also right anyone that wants to be a part of my channel i have to do a kyc on you plus i have to see that you're doxxed yeah with a reputable company i'm not talking about doxing yourself with the team i'm talking about doxing yourself with an external company and that's verified right this is how we're going to clean up this space and i promise you guys i'm not letting this go and i've got people in strategic places doing some digging on a lot of this stuff right being that we're in Europe it's a lot easier yeah so I just want to land and say this guys it's not over the fat lady hasn't sung yet right but as long as we do not have a team which is doxxed and everything is sort of like just left out there in a sense of of, of anything can happen yeah one minute liquidity is there, next minute it's dwindled down to almost nothing when the li- liquidity is supposed to be locked. Those si- type of, you know, nefarious no- no- no tricks, yeah, those type of, um, let's just call it what it is, a slow, slow rug pull. And I'm not talking about Magnet Dow, <laughs> I'm not saying that they're the ones that's doing this, sorry, I'll just kind of switch the actual tab there. I'm simply saying anyone who is kind of out there to do a slow or fast rug pull, hoping that, you know what, people won't see it. And the fact that they felt that they got away with the fact that they haven't been doxxed with an external company, recognized in the community, then you know what, guys, as investors, do not invest. They are all going to have to pay back whether it is doing time in prison, as well as seizing all their properties, plus pay back the people they stole. I know this 100%. Hmm. There's no information right now that is hidden. Everything is out there. You've got AI, you've got, you know, you've got so many, every bank is interconnected. The mere fact that you think that the decentralized exchanges, yeah, all their addresses will link back and a paper troll will go right back to who you are. You think it's not possible. Ah. (laughs) Sorry, boy, it's me. When that knock comes knocking on your door and your dog starts barking like mine, you will know. It's your time is up. (laughs) Catch you guys soon, man.